to mother mary's protection family a very happy morning i ask our beloved jesus mama mary and saint joseph to bless you all and keep you happy and healthy and bring you all joy today today's catholic mass readings and reflections october 1 2022 saturday of the 26th week in ordinary time Memorial of Saint Therese of the Child Jesus, Virgin and Doctor of the Church. Personal reflection: Do I have a child's heart's openness and humility to receive the revelations of the Heavenly Father about Himself, because He only discloses to the children? Please hit the like button if you enjoyed the video's content. Please share with your friends. Please share on Facebook, WhatsApp, and Telegram groups. If you have any prayer requests, please leave them in the comments section. If this is your first time watching, please subscribe and click the bell icon. Please help us grow our channel by offerings. Thank you. First reading: A reading from the Book of Job, chapter forty-two, verses one to three, five to six, and twelve to seventeen. Job answered the Lord and said, "I know that you can do all things, and that no purpose of yours can be hindered. I have dealt with great things that I do not understand, things too wonderful for me, which I cannot know. I had heard of you by word of mouth, but now my eye has seen you." Therefore, I disown what I have said, and repent in dust and ashes. Thus, the Lord blessed the latter days of Job more than his earlier ones, for he had fourteen thousand sheep, six thousand camels, a thousand yoke of oxen, and a thousand she asses. And he had seven sons and three daughters. Of whom he called the first Jemima, the second Kezia, and the third Karen Hapuk. In all the land, no other women were as beautiful as the daughters of Job, and their father gave them an inheritance along with their brothers. After this, Job lived a hundred and forty years. and he saw his children his grandchildren and even his great grandchildren then job died old and full of years the word of the lord thanks be to god response real song your response lord let your face shine on me teach me wisdom and knowledge for in your commands i trust your response lord let your face shine on me it is good for me that i have been afflicted that i may learn your statutes your response lord let your face shine on me i know o lord that your ordinances are just and in your faithfulness you have afflicted me your response lord let your face shine on me according to your ordinances they still stand firm all things serve you your response lord let your face shine on me i am your servant give me discernment that i may know your decrees your response lord let your face shine on me The revelation of your words sheds light, giving understanding to the simple. Your response, Lord, let your face shine on me. The acclamation, Alleluia, Alleluia! Blessed are you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth. You have revealed to little ones the mysteries of the kingdom. Alleluia, Alleluia! Gospel. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke, chapter ten, verses seventeen to twenty-four. 
the seventy-two disciples returned rejoicing and said to Jesus, Lord, even the demons are subject to us because of your name. Jesus said, I have observed Satan fall like lightning from the sky. Behold, I have given you the power to tread upon serpents and scorpions and upon the full force of the enemy and nothing will harm you. Nevertheless, do not rejoice because the spirits are subject to you, but rejoice because your names are written in heaven. At that very moment, he rejoiced in the Holy Spirit and said, I give you praise, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, for although you have hidden these things from the wise and the learned, you have revealed them to the childlike. Yes, Father, such has been your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father. No one knows who the Son is except the Father, and who the Father is except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son wishes to reveal him. Turning to the disciples in private, he said, Blessed are the eyes that see what you see. But I say to you, many prophets and kings desired to see what you see, but did not see it. And to hear what you hear, but did not hear it. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today's reflection on the readings. Today we celebrate the feast of St. Therese, who felt a deep desire to serve the Lord as an apostle, a missionary, and a priest while seeking her specific vocation in the Carmelite monastery. She discovered Luke 10, 17 to 24, which is why this particular reading is presented today on her feast day. Later, after reading St. Paul, she understood that her unique calling was to be like a heart of love beating silently at the center of the church. The readings for today show us that receiving a double portion of Jesus' numerous blessings and the gifts in our lives and those of our family comes through sharing what we have and from suffering for the love of Christ. There is a proverb that reads, No Jesus and there is no pain. Additionally, no pain, no gain, and no agony, no full of life are used. We find in today's readings that even others are healed by our hidden acts of charity. And we frequently do so unwillingly when we tap into the divinity of our human nature through our very actions of giving. Job and Saint Therese of the Child Jesus' lives serve as examples of that. And these are my life examples too. I love them and I am earnestly striving to be like them in prayer life and missionary life. Prayer Together, let's participate in the Saint Therese of the Child Jesus morning offering. O oh my God, I offer thee all my actions of this day for the intentions and for the glory of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. I desire to sanctify every beat of my heart, my every thought, my simplest works by uniting them to its infinite merits. And I wish to make reparation for my sins by casting them into the furnace of his merciful love. O oh my God, I ask of thee for myself and for those whom I hold dear, the grace to fulfill perfectly thy holy will, to accept for love of thee the joys and sorrows 
of this passing life so that we may one day be united together in heaven for all eternity may almighty god blesses the father the son and the holy spirit amen